I'm back. Hello. I think the last video I posted was about cutting all of my hair off and one of my 2019 goals this year is to kind of get my YouTube channel back being consistent. I have to figure out what that will be. I don't really know what I want to do with this channel right now. I was doing the book reviews and I did really like doing them but it takes a lot to kind of read a book a week. While I was doing it and doing it fairly successfully. It's not really sustainable, which is why I stopped doing it. It's like really, really ambitious. And I said that when I started the project. And then I went out of town a couple of times and I cut all my hair off and I just kind of fell off making the channel again, which is fairly on brand for me, if you know my YouTube channel at all. This video, I guess, is just gonna be a bit of a life update and talking about my goals for 2019, cause I am feeling really ambitious about this year. I kind of went through it in the month of December. <laughs> I kept telling my friends, I'm a uh, capital S sad or like sad with the trademark symbol after it so I'm kind of on an upswing right now which sounds like depression a little bit but I haven't been diagnosed so I'm I don't know what my deal is. So I have some really ambitious goals for 2019 and one of the things that I want to do is to take in new forms of media. So I've created a list for myself of 10 things I need to do for 2019 and then a bonus one. So the first one is 10 books to read. So I'm gonna try to read 10 books this year, which isn't really that hard. I mean, that's less than a book a month. And if I'm being smart about the way that I read my books and when I do it, I don't think that'll be hard for me. The same way that I was doing with my book reviews, just try to seek out new things that I wouldn't normally read. So 10 books is one of them, 10 movies. Movies, again, it seems like it's not that ambitious to see 10 movies, but I don't go to the movies that often. Anybody who knows me knows that I don't really see movies like that. It's just never been my my thing that I wanna go do. The, most, the only time I'll really ever wanna see a movie is if it's, frankly, an MCU movie or a book to movie, like a book that I've read and really loved that's being turned into a movie. So that's really the only other times that I want to go to the theater and like, actively have like made the effort to go see a movie. So um, 10 movies this year, I already have some planned for that, so that's good. Movies in a movie theater is the goal because that's a thing that I don't do. 10 live shows. So I already go to a lot of concerts and musicals. I'm hoping to kind of branch out to different forms of live shows, but that's a thing that I wanna make a goal to just because I love doing that and I think it would be fun. Um, again, I already have a couple concerts planned for this year. I want to go see concerts for bands that I haven't normally like seen. So that kind of stuff, just like going to see live shows that I wouldn't normally attend. Podcasts, like live recordings of podcasts or things that are included in that. 10 podcasts I've discovered. So I want to try and find and finish. Finish might be a little ambitious, but find 10 new podcasts this year. I've gotten really into podcasts in the last few months, especially like storytelling podcasts. I just finished The Bright Sessions, which is one that my internet friend Liz introduced me to. I just wanna like seek out new podcasts and discover new things, so that's another thing I wanna do. 10 TV shows. I, again, don't watch a lot of TV. I watch a lot of YouTube mostly, like that's the medium that I ingest visual content. So I wanna finish more TV shows this year. Just try to seek out more TV shows that I wouldn't normally watch. So those five, those are the five things I'm gonna do. 10 of each, that's 50 new forms of media, hopefully. So then the bonus thing, bonus thing. <laughs> the bonus thing that I'm gonna do, that I'm gonna try to do, is 10 trips to different places that I've never been before this year. Um, that is pretty ambitious, but I've already got two trips planned. One, I'm going to PodCon, and I've never been to Seattle, and I'm really, really excited about it. I'm gonna meet a lot of my internet friends in Meet Space, which is cool. I'm staying in a hostel, and I'm, I've never done anything like this. I'm going by myself on a trip, which I've never done before. And we're also going on a big family cruise in August, so that's the other trip that I have for sure planned. So I'm gonna try and get eight more trips in there. I think that it's possible. There's so much stuff to experience. So that's my 10 things goal. Some other things that I'm trying to focus on this year, my mental health is a thing that I've been throwing to the back burner a lot. So a big goal for me this year is to get a therapist and to go regularly because I think that that's really important. I'm going to try to actively do do things that scare me. I want to post a picture a month on Instagram. I used to be like obsessed with Instagram, probably like 2013, 2014. I was like obsessed with it to the point where 
it was like the amount of likes I was getting was like determining my self-esteem and so I deleted the app for a month and once I got the app back I sort of lost interest in it but now um, that snapchat is garbage I've been using Instagram stories for a lot of my stuff I really want to like get more active on Instagram because when everybody was posting their top nine of 2018 I realized I didn't even have nine posts that I made in 2018 so like I couldn't participate in that it was really sad I was like a little bummed about it I just decided I'm gonna start posting on Instagram more a post a month minimum I'm gonna try and seek out an artistic thing that I love to do and like commit to it so I'm gonna figure out some form of like artistic thing that I can do that'll make me happy that I can budget into my like income for the month and do that. The last thing that I have planned for 2019 is to move all of my music from Apple Music to Spotify because I hate Apple Music. It makes me very angry and Spotify is good and I just need to do it. The only reason I ever used Apple Music is because all of my music that I had been curating since I was 12 and I first got an iPod, all of it lived in iTunes. When Apple Music came out, it just seemed logical to me to use it because then I wouldn't have to figure out how to move all of that music to somewhere else. But Apple Music is such a pain and it's annoying and it's not good. I used Spotify for a brief period of time while I was in college and I really liked it. Like if I'm paying $10 a month, I might as well pay for an app that I actually like. That's my other goal is to move everything from <laughs> Apple Music to Spotify. I have a passion planner that I'm hoping will help me accomplish a lot of these goals. This is the like mapping system. This is the wish list, right? So this is what I wanna do in three months, one year, three years, and a lifetime. And then this one is the game changer, which is like the main short-term goal that you make and then how to accomplish it. I'm gonna be honest, it's not going great. I mean, it's only a week, so I have plenty of time. I'm hoping that this will help me organize myself and my life. So I'm gonna use that and hope that I can organize myself this year and hope that I can reach my goals. That's my 2019 goals. Let's talk about a life update really quick. I have a new apartment, as you can see. This is not where I originally lived. It's this, it's great. Um, my roommate is Katie, she's great. It's kind of like the best roommate situation I could have had because she's like loud like me and has like really strong opinions about things. But she's also like a little bit better than me in that she's like well put together and she's very clean and like she bikes every day. Well, not today, her bike's right there. But she bikes places and like she bakes bread once a week and she goes to the gym in the morning. So I was hoping just like by virtue of being near her that it would make me better <laughs> and I'm already a little bit better in that I've been like cooking my meals for a while I just wasn't eating which is really bad it was really weird I was doing intermittent fasting but I'm pretty sure that I just wasn't eating because I just didn't feel like eating it was it was weird it was weird and bad and um, I'm not doing it anymore what else is going on nothing really important besides me moving my apartment is super cool I said that already I don't know I can't think of anything else important that's happened I think that's it I think that's all. That's the big thing is that I moved and uh, my hair is still short and I got new glasses. So that's my plan for 2019. That's a little bit of a life update for you. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I will hopefully see you soon.